Uh, so Dits is going to host Port Adelaide's biggest gala event in its 150-year history. No bigger event. Mm. And Daniel Norton, who is the general manager of media and communications at Port and mm. also of Pranks. I thought was um, a good bloke. We saw, we'll ring him because he'll have to get in touch with Dits to talk about you know the event and the interviews and how it's all going to work. Mm. Let's set him up and get Norts to say that you know they've heard a few of the rumours on Triple M, blah, blah, blah. And they want to use someone else because we know that Ditz would hate that because Ditz grew up in the Port Adelaide club rooms. He loves the footy club. This would break his heart. Hello. Ditz, Nortz, mate, from Port Adelaide. But how are you going? <laughs> Good, mate. How are you? you got a couple of minutes? Yeah. Um, so the gala stuff, um, mate, I hate doing this. We'll bring this up now, but... I got a I got a conference call from the events team yesterday who are really concerned with UMCing on Friday night. Okay. Look, apparently they've heard in recent times, and I don't know where they've heard this, uh, some sort of promo or something. I don't know what's going on, but apparently you've emceed a few things in recent times, and you've had to refund someone, or um, and there was another one where did some memorabilia break or something, or or, or something random like that. Does that make sense? What? Helen told me from our events team that you had to refund the person or the company that you were emceeing for. And then there was another incident where someone fell asleep. And oh, my so, God. Is any of that true? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, but it's a joke. Oh, are you kidding me? No. Oh, no. God. One of the board has, has heard this, rang the events guys. The events guys called me last night and said, Mate, we've got to pull this. And I'm like, what's two or three days from the event? 1,600 people going. It's one of the biggest events in the club's history. I said, mate, I said, Ditz is, Ditz is Port Adelaide through and through. He, he, he's fine. Like, he, he, knows, he knows our product more than anybody. And they said, no, nah, it's too high risk. And, and then the other thing is there's, there's Kane Corns who's chomping at the bit as well at oh. NC, and he's been involved. So, so I, don't know, I don't know what to do, mate. Nah, don't worry about it. It's fine. I, mate, it doesn't bother me. That's fine. <laughs> it changed my life. Don't worry about it. But that's still a board member well done. That's, that's quite embarrassing. So, so you're saying it's, it, it, all that stuff's a joke? Yes. Because I'll... All right. Let me go back and I, I, and, and I will uh, I'll follow up. <laughs> can we leave it at that? I'll, I'll call you back as soon as I can. Well, as I said, I reckon, I reckon leave it. If Kane's that keen to do it, let him do it. I feel a bit flat now. That's just ridiculous. Do you know, can I, I'll tell you quickly, I don't, you don't know what happened. You've got to know the story so you know what you're talking about. I told a funny story about I was invited to the Campbelltown Rotary Club on a Monday night to speak yeah. to them. When I got there, the bloke said to me, he said, you know what Rotary people are like? They're all sort of in their 80s and 90s. He said, don't be offended if some people nod off and go to sleep. I said, oh, mate, good as gold. I then did my speech. He said to me, he said, hell, no one went to sleep. I then said, well, geez, I must be good. That was a feather in my cap. That is the story I told on radio. Well, somehow someone's got the wires crossed. They think... Someone fell asleep in the front row of the main table. This is the information that we've got. And that oh you're at some event at Kuyong and you dropped some $5,000 <laughs> memorabilia piece that shattered everywhere. And you had to pay it back or something? No. Nah. I know where this has come from. It's all a joke. Rue has been taking the piss out of me about my guest speaking. So last week, it's been an ongoing thing. Last week, I turned up at the Provost Club, who are all senior citizens, and this is where it's funny. They forgot that they'd engaged me. I got there, and the bloke that had rung me looked at me and said, what are you doing here? I said, oh, I'm your guest speaker. He said, oh, are you? I said, yeah. So every week, North, there's been one of these funny stories. It's an ongoing joke about my guest speaking experiences. All right, OK. Obviously, everyone's got their wires crossed here. This is not ideal. Yeah, but also, uh, and Norts, look, that now that you've bad. settled this to me, that, that board member, please, if they can minute it at their meeting <laughs> that I'm actually a decent person, I'm not a high risk. Like, for God, that's f***ing embarrassing. I'm high risk. Jesus, I, I did your function last year. I've done plenty of functions over here. I don't think I've, you know, got up on stage and got my f*** out or anything. Jesus <laughs> Christ, that's... Anyway, it's not your fault. I'm not going to crack at you, but if that board member could actually rectify it and say, oh, actually, I got this totally wrong, that'd be nice. Yeah, all right, mate. All right, no, I get it. I, I, and I, mate, I've known you for years. I love your work, so, yeah. yeah.
Oh, mate, leave it with me. Okay. Go away, mate. See ya. Thanks, Ditch, mate. Oh, Hulk, Lyon, and Sinker. Hang on. Hang on, I just need you to adjust those minutes, please. Uh, board meeting uh, number in our uh, March board meeting. Just want to uh, adjust these minutes here. Ditz is actually a uh, very good person. Can I, can I tell you something? <laughs> so after I've been stitched up, I went home. And I told Kate the story, and when what I got to the bit, her? when I got to the bit where, the, and I said, "Oh," and he did it really well. He said, "I'd be high risk," and she goes, "Oh, you are." <laughs> yeah. I looked and said, "Oh, thanks." So, My wife. Yeah. Oh, anyway, we felt so bad for you, Ditch, because mm. we, oh, yeah. <laughs> we did. We actually felt so bad that we <laughs> thought we better ring you back and reveal that it was a prank. Hello, Ditch North again, mate. How are you? Yeah, good. <laughs> Um, I might have got something to tell you, actually. I thought of that out pretty quickly. You with me? Yeah. Yeah. Mate, all that was just a prank. Uh, Rue, Rue put me up to that. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> Rue put me up to that, so, um, <laughs> mate, yeah, I fell for you, I was like, this is killing me, this is killing me. Oh my God. <laughs> so mate, you're on, we love you, you're on, so, leave us now, we need you for Friday night. It, was that recorded? Yes, hello. Uh, <laughs> hello, love you. Oh, Jesus, you wouldn't believe, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. <laughs> I felt terrible, and I'm like, oh, ditch, I love you, mate. And, oh, I'm so sorry, mate. You are the worst. So you are the worst. All right, mate. All right, mate. I'll wait here for you. All right, mate. I will give you a call back, though. Thanks, mate. All right, mate. Now, do you know what? Oh. I googled all the board members' names. Oh, <laughs> oh the poor board members. Yeah. You're going to try to work at out it going, who did it. Which one of these wouldn't bastards. be him? He wouldn't do that. I was thinking Darren Carr wouldn't do it to me. No. Nah. <laughs> I was going through them all. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Well, nah, well done. Very well done. Oh, you got to have a laugh, Dits. Yes. There you go. Well done. <laughs>